Arundo is a highly invasive non-native plant that um, originated actually in southeastern Asia and the Mediterranean, um, and it was introduced into California into the 1800s. Um, primarily to be used as a building material, but also um, for reed instruments. And basically this plant got loose into my environment, um, and a lot of people when they see it, they think it's bamboo, which is also not native, but um, it's, you know, it's, it's still this, this plant that has just wreaked havoc on the, the, the watersheds throughout Southern California. Um, and it looks very similar to bamboo, like I said. Um, it's in the same family as the grass family. Um, and so it's a real hassle to kill because, as you know, with grasses, when you cut it, it comes right back. The way that uh, Arundo basically has spread throughout the watershed, um, it started, you know, upstream, and it has very, almost, I don't want to say slowly, but it has moved downstream um, just because of um, the biology of these plants. So basically, their roots are these huge rhizome structures, and these rhizomes will break loose from upstream, they will get into the river, and as the water flows down to the ocean, these rhizomes then implant themselves onto the, the stream banks and onto the river sides, and it just continues to grow from there. This is a rhizome, yes. Um, so as you can see, this, this is essentially the root structure of the plant, and you see all of these nodules coming out from the rhizome. And literally each one of these can become a new Arundo stock, as big as the ones that you see behind me. So you can imagine these huge stocks as they're floating downstream and getting, you know, um, stuck to the sides of uh, the stream banks, just how quickly this will become multiple plants. That's a great question. How do you control Arundo? Uh, it's definitely a work in progress. Um, a lot of science has gone behind um, trying to remove Arundo. Currently, the best method um, is to cut it to a more manageable height, um, and once you've done that, then uh, you can apply um, a very low dose of chemical to the cut arundo stumps. Um, it's usually a mix of amazapyr and glyphosate, which is um, essentially round kill or round up, excuse me, essentially round up, um, and that. Um, will then get sucked into the plant, into the rhizome, and that's how you, you kill it. There's also um, a spray that you can use. You could spray it directly onto the leaves, um, and it has the same effect where it will get sucked down into the rhizome and then it destroys it that way. But like I said, it's literally a grass, so cutting it does nothing. You really got to come back. And, you know, we, we hate to use any kind of chemical in the environment, but it's such a low dose, and it really is being sucked down directly into the rhizome. So we're very confident that it's only affecting the Arundo and not the native plants around it. How much is left here on the river that you still have to cut away? Ooh, that's a good question. Quite a bit. Um, it, we've, we've certainly made progress cutting the Arundo in the river bottom. Um, you know, we've uh, been working with other agencies like the um, Ventura County Watershed Protection District, um, the Ohio Valley Land Conservancy, um, and we, like I said, we've been working our way down the river. Um, most of it now is um, towards the river bottom. So basically where we're standing, of course, um, and right at the mouth of the Ventura River. So we're getting pretty close to, to getting it removed from the Ventura watershed, but um, it's still going to take, you know, a number of years, a lot of effort. It does come back um, even after you've sprayed it uh, or applied the chemicals to it. So it takes, a, it takes a while just to really knock it out of the, the environment. But I am confident that eventually it will be gone from the environment. Yeah, one of the, the whole reasons that we're removing Arundo um, from the Ventura River watershed is because of native plants. Um, this outcompetes natives just tenfold. As you can see behind me, literally it just becomes a forest of Arundo, which leaves no space and no water for the native plants to grow and thrive. So by removing this Arundo, we're going to be opening up large, expansive areas where native plants can um, now come back, which is what we have been working on with um, our other preserve um, upstream, the Big Rock Preserve um, with the Ventura Hillsides Conservancy, um, planting natives um, as we've removed um, a, a lot of Arundo from that area. And uh, we've planted new sycamore, new coast live oak, um, toyon, all these plants that are supposed to have been there that will now once again be there. And that's going to encourage wildlife to come back as well. So it's, it's just a huge benefit to uh, this local environment to remove this stuff from, from out of this watershed.